No, all I'm, all I'm looking for is just one important. Uh, if Mrs. Murray What's ever concedes a point, if this? Mrs. Murray ever concedes a point, do you have definite knowledge that the word agnostic means what you said? Are you, do you have absolute proof of it, that it was never used by Nobody theologians? Nobody has absolute proof of anything. You can't even prove that you're sitting here, and you know it. I so can't? No. Huh. Well, I can. I could prove very easily right now... Uh, so uh, we get back to an what empirical we're, no, fact. No, no, what we're doing is getting off on a wee little problem here that is not related it's a to the problem of we're definitions of terms. No, it is not a ta- problem of definitions of terms. It is, because it's for a, you... It's a red herring. No, no. Do you think, uh, Reverend Martin, that we might move away from the... Oh, I, I, I've, gotten to, I've, gotten, I've, gotten, I've gotten to the point, the main point that I wanted to get from Mrs. Murray was that uh, you can never depend upon the meaning of a word. Uh, she has a total anarchy of language, which means that any time you go into a discussion on any point, the moment that the definition suits her, she will change the definition, and that's the end that, of it. That is a completely idiotic statement. No, I don't think so. I think it's factual. No, now, you no, spoke no. for almost 17 minutes, and I haven't had but eight, so I'd like ah, to finish this Ah, but you've been point. on here 50 times, according to... Yeah, uh, but your press coverage is much uh, better than mine. I, you've got much better press coverage. So that so. you have a bigger audience tonight because I'm oh, here. Oh, no. <laughs> me? <laughs> me? Sure. Yeah. Well, well, yeah me. John has got the... You know, 1,640 years, Christianity has had the floor uh, without anybody really to uh, confront them or debate. <laughs> it's not an idiotic <laughs> statement because you made a statement a moment ago. Uh, which philosophically you'd be sunk by any university you ever lectured. I hope you never made it when you said you can't prove you're here and that no term means what it means in a given context. For instance, can you ever think of any given context when hydrogen two parts and oxygen one is not water? Oh, now, come on. You're trying no, I'm, I'm to be erudite. You. And erudition no. has nothing to no, do with minute. knowledge wait or, or belief. I'm asking you, can you think of any situation in all experience where hydrogen two parts, oxygen one is not water? I have no idea because I haven't well, if you been around don't, then from you... the very beginning. No, no, I haven't been around from the very beginning. And every single time hmm. that I'm invited to a radio station someplace, uh, always two or three, no, I'm sorry, two or three ministers are brought in to debate every single word that I utter. And this is the most fantastic thing because, really, are you so unsure of yourself that you can't permit me on the air alone? Mrs. Murray, myself? if I was unsure of myself, I wouldn't be here tonight. Oh, I'm I here because you... I am sure. You know I, I would like to finish my statement, if I may. I'm not under cross-examination yet. Context. Do you spend your whole life listening to the tapes that you've been on? No, to you. And taking it apart word to by you, word. To you, to not? Why not part language the is, sentence? Language and words is a business for a lawyer if you're a good one. If you don't know bi- language, you have no business being in law. I happen to be a linguist in the sense of the meaning of terms. As I am no, no, you're an apologist for religion. Could I enjoy, and John, an apologist for You're religion, supposed you to moderate this. Now, do I get a chance to talk? Or are you, are you on her team? No. I, no. <laughs> oh, I'm, please. Okay, I've got to talk then. Now you, you, right away you're labeling me. And I think you're being unfair. You're a guest of mine. Shh, and you're insulting tapes. our moderator by labeling me. Do oh, you want to apologize? I, uh, I couldn't do that. My conscience would bother me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Now make your point. I'm going to, I'll tell you, in fact, I'm going to give you two minutes. My point Uninterrupt. is, Mrs. Murray delights in trying to needle people who are trying to talk to her and trying to reason, trying to find out, asking questions about things, she needles them and makes off-the-cuff remarks, and some of them are uh, are aimed at, at conveying an impression, a psychological impression. She's a former psychiatric social worker. She's aware of the meaning of terms in language. She snickers about clergymen being loony. She deliberately uh, holds back on the word nut and then changes it to minister. She's well aware of the, how this affects an audience. Now, I don't mind being called loony or a nut for the sake of Jesus Christ. I just like to know what her excuse is. <laughs> So you go off on all of these things that have no, absolutely no, 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 no meaning. Madeline, Madeline, no please. And Mrs. Let, Mar- let Mrs. Murray, uh, uh, Mrs. Murray uh, thanks for the two minutes. Uh, Tell us how you've been saved. Uh, well, it wouldn't be difficult, but John would be terribly upset to take his valuable time. No, 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 please. I'd like to hear about it. Fine. I want you to be, take two minutes be, to talk uh, about the same thing Walter Martin. Breath. I'd be delighted to, and I won't beat my breast uh, about it at all. I'll simply uh, state it. But before I do state it, I intend to get this point across. Mrs. Murray's own statement about atheism and materialism and statements about the universe is devoid of eminent conscious purpose and governed by impersonal and immutable law, mm-hmm. she can't make by virtue of her own vocabulary because she can't define immutable law. She can't define purpose. She can't define any of these things because every time you force her into a context, Mrs. Murray will change I the mean, meaning of the word in its context. Now, as far as me, as far as I'm concerned personally, I'm delighted to speak for Jesus All Christ. All of your words have concrete uh, meaning. I would, like, right to, I would like to say this. I would like to say this. I am a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am no better than Mrs. Murray is. I'm only a sinner saved by grace. Oh, dear. I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. Who Who saved you? Grace who? Do we have the common courtesy of intercourse? No, because... Or was I asked a question? Was I asked a question? 
Was I asked a question? No, but really. Was when, I asked no. a question? When you go in, then will you permit me the answer? Talking yes. about the grace John, of Jesus you want, Christ, you don't you even know what you're talking about. Will you permit me? Will you permit me? Reverend Mrs. Martin. Murray says right here the aims of her society is to promote freedom of thought. I assume it since she's a lawyer. Rational thought. Uh, by your definition. That's why you're dangerous, Mrs. Murray. Because by your definition, rational thought is the suppression of my right to be religious. And you would suppress me, I'm sure, if you had the opportunity. No. Uh, I wouldn't suppress a nudist either. If you want to be nutty, why well, you be nutty. You see, we're back to the words again, you see. Oh. I could get on a program and I could say, Mrs. Murray is nutty. I could get on and make fun of Go atheists. Go ahead. Why? You thrive on it. You, you live on it. You can't make fun of atheists because reason I don't want to. to be on our I side. don't want to make you fun of atheists. You can't make fun of atheists or you can't even argue I don't want to make fun of an atheist. We happen to have the... I don't. You happen to have a, a tremendous ability to keep talking. But aside from that, not much. I haven't been able to get in a but word. I've had you on many uh, times, Walter, uh, so don't give me that. Uh, you oh, I've been to... able to get her a few jibes in here. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. Uh, you talk about freedom of thought. But here I'm expressing freedom of thought. I said... No, no, you're, a, you're expressing psychosis, pure and simple, right down the line. Are you a qualified diagnostician? I am qualified diagnostician. Are you a qualified... You are not. Yes. You are not. You have no degrees or no training to, to qualify you. <laughs> what is psychosis? Well, you should tell me you use the word. This is whether or not you are in touch with reality, and religion is not in touch with reality. How do you know? Kiddo. How do you know, kiddo? Come on. You're How do you know? You're talking about you the grace you of Jesus prove. Christ. Yeah. You don't even... You couldn't define this for anything in the world, I can. except in other I can. spiritual... I can. Nebulous spiritual I can. terms. I can, def I can define it. Well, wait. Uh, Very simply. Uh, I want... I'm anxious because... <laughs> I just broke the, the, the point on my pencil, and I want to get it resharpened so I can make notes. I thought you were sharpening your fangs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, uh, Reverend Martin, that uh, we're losing a really a, a wonderful opportunity to be able to talk with Madeline Murray in, instead of uh, going through. Incidentally, I, I wish you would, because I myself, I've heard this too, and, and I'm not saying that you don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> But I must admit, I don't understand it. What is it meant through the grace of Jesus Christ? The word grace in the New Testament usage simply means something that's unmerited as a gift from God. I started to say before I was interrupted that Christ redeemed me by his grace. That is, I didn't deserve it. And it was a gift, <laughs> redemption, through faith in the cross. Well, now, wait, now, now it's, it's just a little bit, you know... Don't go through the cliches with me because it's not a cliche. That's just a biblical wait, statement. I, well, I don't want those type of statements. I want all of my question for you. Well, if you're limited, is. if that is the extent of your vocabulary, then let's forget it. The word comes from a New Testament context. So, I'm asking you to explain this to me with the mentality of about a ten-year-old child. Don't tell me to read the Bible now. Now Can I, I want do you it with to an tell illustration? me. Yes, go ahead. Right, do it with an illustration. You are brought into a courtroom, guilty of a crime. Oh, I'm never brought into a courtroom Not guilty yet. of a crime. Uh, so well, then don't tell me I'm brought into a courtroom. That's a poor analogy. Well, uh, would you let me... I've been indicted yes. for a crime, no, and no. now I'm going to trial. You're That's up right. for sentencing. Can, Can you let me finish? Shush. But well, you've already told me I'm So you're brought into a courtroom, guilty of a crime, you're up for sentencing. And before I can say the sentence, you're up for sentencing, you're already correcting me. I see. All right. Can you be convicted and be brought in for sentencing? Yes. Thank you. Yes. You concede that, Mrs. Murray. That's one thing you will concede. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I didn't get a concession. I got a laugh. But that's, that's better than what I've been getting. All right. Now, well, you brought you're here for his laugh. Yeah. Oh, you got me here for a laugh, but the Lord got me here for a reason. Now. Oh, dear. You're coming up, <laughs> you're coming up for, uh, for sentencing. Yes. You've been convicted of a crime. Yes. Now, if you can imagine a person with the power to intercede for you, though you are guilty, and to actually bear the punishment which you deserve for that crime. This is grace. And this is what God did for us in Christ on the cross. This is what Abraham Lincoln scoffed at as saying the Christian uh, mm. uh, method of salvation. You know, uh, what you was this crime that John, can I, uh, It was the original I, uh, sin of Adam and Eve, wasn't it? No. Can Come I on, finish? this is the original sin can of Adam and Eve. Can I finish? Can I finish? Oh, well, go ahead. Let, let him finish. Madeline. I finish. Oh, finish. John, we may both question. learn something, Madeline. <laughs> well, we can give it a try. I mean, it may be hard, but give it a try. <laughs> uh, the point that I'm trying to make is you ask for definition of grace, that's it. An unmerited gift. That you don't earn. I must say I don't understand it, but nevertheless you've tried hard. It's and not, it's not. If you can't understand that, I get, well, that's I have true. to concede it, but we won't. Yeah. Uh, you said it, I didn't. Yeah, the that's point right. is, I must admit, I'm very right. stupid. I don't understand that. All right. And I think great. that the average person hearing that phrase doesn't know what you're talking about. Why you don't remember? Because the oldest manuscripts of Josephus, dating below the Middle Ages, do have... Come the on, the middle, below the Middle Ages. Below the Middle Ages. Tacitus. Can I... Tacitus... 
did not have a reference to any Christos before Oregon. And you know it. Between who? Before who? Oregon? Well, this is the... I'm, I'm very poor with my pronunciation. You know, you poor with your pronunciation. You don't know anything about history. O-R-I-G-E-N. I don't know how to pronounce this. Well, how, Origen happened to be a second century church father. Let me ask you a question. The Jews, who at the time were responsible for the death of Christ... We won't get into the argument of all Jews, but the Jews at that time were responsible well, no, for the death of Christ. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. didn't exist. Wait, wait, no, wait a minute. Even finish? if he existed, the fact is, he, even the, uh, the Pope has, uh, has offset that right. comment. Yes, but the High Court of Israel confirmed it. Oh, come on. Oh, so now, we come got an anti-Semite. Can I so quote? I don't care. Well, come Mrs. On. Murray, be careful. I am not anti-Semitic. What? Well, you well, can't do <coughs> anything else when you come up with Mrs. this. Mrs. Murray, be careful. As a lawyer, as a lawyer, you should know better. Don't call somebody an anti-Semite. It's a very dangerous word. I'm no, not. No, it isn't. It's it not is. libelous per se, and you know. I'm not anti-Semite. Now, you are, you are I'm saying that the Jews, Jews, what, you're saying the Jews Jews are responsible for the death of Jesus Christ. Just a moment now. Just a moment. Just a moment. Let's even make it easier so we won't have that problem. The you Jews. better back out of it. I won't back out of anything. Well, that's what you're doing when you're saying let's make it easier in shall order I make so it, we don't shall have I make that it, problem. Let's I'm... make it difficult and right. take your statement that Jews Fine. were responsible for the death of Jesus Christ. They and were. you stand there. They were and I stand there, along yeah. with the New Testament. But first of all, you will be the first to admit, I'm sure, that from nothing, nothing will come. Except, of course, in God's case. No, would you just answer that question? From nothing, no, nothing will do come. You know, do you know the know. mother of God? He doesn't have a mother. The reason he doesn't have a mother simply is that, by definition, God is not an effect. God is cause. And from nothing, nothing comes. So they're, they're, not, they're, not, they're not contradicting, no Mr. Murray. You ought to take a good anything. course in logic, because your logic is very deficient. Yeah, you boy, have first you got of 1984 all, talk. First of all, listen, you admit that from nothing, nothing comes, correct? No, I don't admit anything. Good heavens, woman, you must admit that from nothing, nothing will come. But you would say, this is your statement. Will you admit it? I have no idea. If. Oh. Come on, this is absurd now. This is not absurd. In a world of science, we have you no are, in a world idea. of science? We have no idea. You have no idea, no rabbi, no priest, or no minister. How about a physicist? Any, any physicist. Oh, they don't know anything either. They have no They have theories. Uh, oh, but, the, oh, but they have no absolute proof as to where the universe came from or even our planetary system. We're not talking about that. They that's don't a, that's know. what you're talking about. No, sir. That. We're talking, we are talking about a statement from you nothing, have no nothing right comes. to say God did it. Wait a minute. What you have to say is perhaps by space exploration, perhaps by continuing study of physics, perhaps by continuing study of uh, uh, the uh, uh, particular elements that we have found so far, perhaps we can extend our knowledge so that we can make a calculated guess later. I but am, right now, no, you don't know. I am saying something. Quit saying I am that saying, you know. I am saying something. You don't. I'm saying something. You're not saying anything. You're, you're just... Mrs. Murray, Mrs. Murray, degree. Mrs. Murray, it's very easy from to... From nothing, nothing it's, comes, but God created right, for us Madeline, from Madeline, please, let him make his point. Uh, Reverend, I don't think you can. I don't think... You know, you can make a point because I asked for a simple statement. Will you grant the fact that from nothing, nothing will come? I don't know. Uh, wait, wait, just, you're, just, you're just rehashing and rehashing this. I said some Jews at the time of Pontius Pilate <laughs> were responsible for delivering <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth to death. That's may what I, I said. May I say this to you, Walter, though? Uh, I think it is wrong if, to say some Jews. I think it is better, if, if this is true, if history is true, and I don't know, I think it's better to say that some guys, some men, delivered Christ, not Jews. You see, right away, when you tie it up with an ethnic group, you are actually condemning these people as a group, that rather than individuals. follow at all. Well, it may not be logical to you, but it's very, very logical to me, because this is what causes anti-Semitism. This is what causes hatred by identifying members of a group. It's the same thing as some man uh, rapes a girl on the street, and in the paper it's reported a Negro raped a girl on the street. Right away, Negroes rape women. It has nothing to do with that. Men rape women. It has nothing to do with Jews, Catholics, Negroes, or any ethnic John, group. let me answer your question. I didn't give you a question, sir. It's a statement. statement. Okay, I'll answer You're it. not listening to the punctuation. How can you answer a statement? I'll answer it. How can you? It isn't a question. I won't have a chance if, I, if you won't let me speak. The New Testament teaches the responsibility of the Jews at that time who delivered Jesus of Nazareth to crucifixion. What a I document. accept this as historic truth. I am not accusing the Jew today of this. I am simply... I, in fact, I'll go further than that. The Jew and the Gentile today who rejects him as Savior crucifies him again. I believe this. Let me ask... Woo! That's pretty Man wild, alive. That is pretty <laughs> rough stuff, Walter. Go ahead, young lady. 
Well, first of all, I'm really sorry he didn't live in my neighborhood, which was a middle-income neighborhood, and didn't have the beatings that I had. And I hope if he has children, he's going to teach them to be a heck of a lot more lenient to little Jewish kids than he seems to be towards Jews in general. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to uh, make one statement right here. Right. <laughs> I have many friends who are Jewish. Oh, come on. And I am not anti-Semitic. I am not anti-Semitic. Some of my best friends I resent the idea that Mrs. Murray makes a statement that says, I'm anti-Semitic. Some Jew puts it up in Brooklyn and says, he's teaching children to beat my kids up. I reject it. No, but you just wait a minute. But your last statement, Walter. I reject it. No, wait, but your... Well, reject the last statement and you'll be better off. I will not. It's true. In other words, if a Jew has not seen the value of Christianity, then there is something wrong with it. But the Jew yes? or the Gentile does not receive God's Son as their Savior. The Scripture says they're Jesus lost. Christ. Yes, they're lost. Thank, Thank you, you, young God lady. Came into the world. Good, Good night. night. Thank you. I'd like to direct my comments to Miss uh, Madeline Murray. She's listening to you right now. Uh, Miss Murray, how can you say uh, that you don't believe in religion when your non-belief is a religion itself? Secondly, uh, you... No, stop right there, please. Uh, no, stop right there. Good morning. Long John? Yes. I don't have 400 shares of stock, but by golly, I'd like to get my opinion in on here. Well, go ahead. Um, You're a real listener. <laughs> yes, I am. I know that line. Go ahead. I'd like to say to the Reverend Martin. Yes. Why does he let this woman laugh at him? How does she know so much? Who is she? I'll answer the question by simply saying that I'm willing to conduct a discussion with Mrs. Murray on any specific points, and I'm delighted for specific points, but Mrs. Murray has her own vocabulary. Right. She has a whole series of cliches that she right. uses, and Mrs. Murray will not even admit to the basic logical proposition of an if. If you say right. to Mrs. Murray, for instance, uh, if God exists, Mrs. Murray will then say to you, no, I won't even grant that there's a possibility of God's existence. Now, a person who begins... she's atheistic. She's not an ag no, agnostic. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Here. A person who is seeking to further, as she says in the aims of her society, freedom of thought, right. can hardly be furthering freedom of thought by closing their mind to any evidence. Right. And she does that, just like well, that. Not only that, but the way she laughed at that gentleman on Ellen Burke's show was terrible, and she's doing that to you, too. Well, it doesn't disturb Let me. Her do it. I find religious people to be pretty funny. You do? Well, yes, I, I do. do. you to be a heck of a lot funnier, and I don't, I'm not spelling it the right way. Well, I'll tell you Only uh, because I have respect for Long John Neville. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, may I help you? Yes, is this uh, Long John Neville? Yes, this is he. Uh, am I on now? You certainly are on. All right. I'd like to ask some questions. Let me turn you Well, let's take one question, please. Well, uh, it's not about religion. It's about history, the history of Jesus. Did he have any, uh, did Mary and Joseph have any other children besides uh, uh, Jesus? Uh, but Reverend Martin, will you answer that question, please? According to the New Testament record, yes, they had other children. Uh, did did the, his brothers or sisters follow him in this new religion? One of his brothers did, James. Did he need uh -uh, to start a new religion? There's a question about that. One of his brothers, James, did and wrote the epistle of James. Don't say this so positively. You're not sure. Nobody knows Mrs. whether that's Murray, brother Mrs. Murray, Mrs. Murray, would you Even kindly, would you kindly at least admit one thing? That you, you know nothing about no, the Bible. You make very positive statements, I have uh, to, because uh, Reverend Martin, I have constantly. To. Well, I'm going to, because you make them. But these statements are just your opinion, and your opinion only. They are not based in historic fact. They're not based in... How do you know? Fact. How do you know? Based in any wait, wait, How wait, do you know they're not based in biblical they, fact? No, that's what I was going to ask. They you. are. Are they in the Bible? And you are so ignorant of the Bible, it's pitiful. You go around making... Uh, wait a minute. Opinion, wait a minute. That's no opinion. opinion. I could give you a quiz right now for a, a first-year Sunday school kid, and you couldn't pass it. You don't know beans about the Bible. You Did sit here and pretend to be an authority on religion. Your religious background is virtually nil. Now, don't play uh, something you, you're not. You I'm not finished with this. When you talk law... You wait, don't when know you whether talk, or not wait, these alleged wait, brothers and sisters when you, ever wrote this... When you case. talk law, Mrs. Murray, when you talk philosophy, when you talk your atheism, and you talk se separation of church and state, that's your forte. You're welcome to it, and, and I'm for you as an American. When you get into the field... <laughs> yeah, Damn wait. Decent of you. Thanks. But when you get into religion, you are so ignorant, it's pitiful. You would lecture on... This oh, wait, let me finish. because I don't accept your interpretation no, 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 no. of the Bible. You factually, can have this wait a knowledge, uh, factually, me, because wait a minute, it's useless wait a minute, to you factually, and everybody else. Factually, your knowledge of religion is ridiculous. I made a statement a moment ago. I said 
very quietly. James, our Lord's eldest brother, believed in him. His oldest other, brother. Just a moment. Just a moment. Pardon. His eldest brother. You mean one he's these, older than, no, than Jesus? No, wait a second. James, I thought you know that, that Jesus... Uh, James the was... elder, he's called me. Let me finish. As he's called in the New Testament. Believe. Incidentally, were they immaculate conception? Would you let me finish? Would you let me finish? Or did Joseph have a part in that? Madam, do you permit courtesy? Yes. Thank you. You made a statement, a clear statement. You said, you know, nobody knows. It's not a mere matter of biblical fact. The tape will bear this out. Now, how would you know it's a matter Boy, of biblical fact? are you fact? hung up on these tapes? It's not a matter you of biblical fact. Go home and Wait a minute. To them all the time to hear your voice? Wait a minute. No, to hear yours. This is the point. You do not know whether the New Testament makes the statement or not. But you say, Number now listen, one, wait, there wait, is wait, no wait, such a thing wait, as four wait, 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 John is so wild, it's fantastic. Mrs. Uh, Nobody Mrs. knows Murray. where the few sources Murray. know, but you don't know Mrs. a Murray. thing Mrs. about the Bible. Since you are such it's an expert, wait a minute. It's a conglomeration of rubbish. Since you're such an expert. And you're an expert on rubbish. Just a moment, just a moment. Would you tell me what the Q source is? Who knows? You don't. Who knows what Kelly is? You don't. Who knows this? You don't know. I do. No, no, you do not. <laughs> you know a couple theories yeah, about yeah. it that have been advanced You're not going to get off the hook on this. A certain religious... You, John, you're going to stick with this point if you're honest. She made a statement. It's not biblical. If it's in the Bible, it's no, biblical. If it's in the Bible, it is biblical. You may disagree with it. No, no, no. Wait a minute. No, no. No, no. No, no. no, you can disagree with it. But if it's in the Bible, it it's is. biblical. That's all. Let me. Uh, I, do, I, I just want you to you get that point. You don't even have any idea whether I'm that sorry. text is corrupted or not. I, I want, want you to wait. realize Listen. that you are ignorant of Scripture. This. Of That's your all. Scripture and your interpretation, Virtually, I admit my ignorance. Madam, thank God Madam, you are ignorant of all Scripture. Let me assure you of that. Thank you, lady, for calling. Well, I didn't did I get my quit. Well, I think you did. I mean, it's obvious that we can't stop this tonight. I did not say you were ignorant. I said you were Be ignorant. My guest. Go ahead, call me ignorant. Uh, too. No, no, I wouldn't do that. It'd make you feel too good. I think that you are. Ig I know you are ignorant of scripture. That's what I said. That's all. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I said that Mrs. Murray is ignorant of theology and the Look, Bible. All right. So she you're is. the only one who is No, she is. Therefore, I didn't say I that. know what it is. I didn't say that. I'm ignorant. Well, I go along with that. You know, Tell me. Let me ask you something. <laughs> you are for Jesus Christ. Yes, ma'am, I am to the end. He's save. the savior of the world. Yes, indeed. And that, I, that I am. Yes, indeed. Well, you bet. He could save you, too, but you won't I don't have any. You don't want to be. I don't have any sin. Yeah. Uh, well, I've of course not. Well, I, I doubt that, and I don't think you believe it either. But this I do know. I'm to me, sin free. I repeat that I'm very, very serious. <laughs> to the audience who can't see him, John is in hysterics right now. Uh, she repeats this old red herring, and I think it's something that, will, that ought to be uh, brought out and exploded for what it is. You want to see this happen in the fifth grade and show these kids Torque Mata's Inquisition, and you want to show them the Crusades, and you I want to show the them. Torque Mata. Uh, well, where is this? That's the pronunciation. Uh, and um, okay. you uh, go ahead and uh, want to show all of the failures and frailties of religion. Of which oh, there the are cruelties and the may injustices and the human indignity. Mrs. Murray, would you would you again be give me the manners? I'd interrupt you. You let me finish. You want to do this? You want to show the kids these things? Sure. Okay. Can I the brighter can I, can I introduce something else too? Sure. Atheism had two basic philosophies in its uh, application in our era, in the age in which we live. You know, I know you're not talking let about atheism now. as a religious let me thing. You're talking let me about a Political. How do you know what I'm talking about? I haven't said anything. Well, I'm a mind reader. <laughs> no, you're, a, you're a mind reader, all right. But no. listen, listen for a second now. I know your arguments in advance. Yeah, th well, if you do, then you must be deity. You can't know my arguments in advance because you've never told me. Go ahead and give them. Thanks. At I'm least perfectly willing that. to hear all about Stalin all over again. I'm, I want you to hear about somebody else. I want you to hear about a man who gave copies of, I'm sure, one of your idols. Frederick Nietzsche's book, Man and Superman. No, I don't like yeah. Nietzsche at all. No, well, he was the god is dead boy. And Nietzsche I don't care the idol of Adolf Hitler. The atheism of Nietzsche, taught to the Wehrmacht and to the Germans, produced the extinction of oh, six oh, million oh, Jews. No, no. And no, produced no. the murder. No. Produced the murder of World War II. Germany That's was what atheism a produced. country down the line. No, don't you no. dare no, say no, that no, Germany no, no. was ever dominated by atheism. It was by Adolf Hitler. A Adolf Hitler happened to be a Roman Catholic, who rejected too. it. To this day, who he has it. not been excommunicated by the Roman he Catholic Church. He rejected it. 
And the Roman Catholic Church supported the rise of Nazism from the very inception of Nazism up to the point that they saw that they had a rival in Hitler who wanted to take over I uh, deny, that religious I deny office. the slander. Oh. I, I don't deny, care what you deny. I deny, uh, I deny the slander that the Roman don't Catholic you Church... Don't dare say that uh, Germany was ever an atheistic a, country. I said that under atheistic philosophy... No, there was no atheistic by Hitler. philosophy of course there fostered was. by Hitler. You have. Did you ever read Mein Kampf? Did you? Yes, ma'am, did you? Did you? Answer me, yes or of no? Of course you know. I have read probably did you every read book it? that you read, and then I you have read probably Mein read it 20 years you ago. Read mein I'm Kampf? Older than you, are. you read Mein yes, Kampf? Yes, uh, several times. Yes. Then you're aware library. of the fact that Adolf Hitler said in Mein Kampf, I, it listen, matter listen, what he said. madam, listen. He it said matters in mein, who supported him and who said, put him in power. You know, wait, we're on Hitler now. Yeah. He said in Mein Kampf, I am not out to destroy religion or Christianity. I am out to destroy religion root and branch. That's not the statement of a Catholic. That's the statement of an atheist like you. I'm sorry. This is not the statement of an atheist, and it is not what happened in Germany, and you know it. You didn't you read Mein Kampf, Kampf, madam. You go ahead and pick out a sentence I don't from believe Mein you. Kampf. I can't. Uh, give me the date, the version of it, whether it was unexpurgated, what page it's on, in what connotation it was. I could give you. I could you give know. you. I could give you the sentence. You don't know, because you and do you the same it. thing with your biblical... No. Uh, authority that you preach. No, ma'am. Pick out I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to sit here and listen to you tell me what mine comes to. You have just you have alienated it. every Jew in New York. Now you're alienating oh, you're every trying, German in New York. You're trying to get me to alienate and alienate the Jews. And no, I'm not. you you have already done that. No. I don't. You, you don't need any of my help. Now you have just finished calling the Germans an atheist nation. I didn't say and that. And that the atheists killed six million Jews. I Ooh, did not my. say that. I did not say that, madam. You certainly did. No, I didn't. I said and I that. I object to the use of the word madam, particularly in New York. Are you Thank married? Mrs. Murray. Are you married? No, but I'm. A, I am not a madam. You're married. I am not a madam. Oh, well, you use it in an, an unfortunate, vulgar sense. I'm using it in the proper sense. Oh, well. Madam, I simply mean that Adolf Hitler was not he a Christian. the philosophy of, N- philosophy of Nietzsche, who was an atheist, who said inferior well, races must be killed. Are we going to have an argument kill. as to whether Nietzsche was an atheist or whether... He was an atheist. All right, that's your interpretation of Nietzsche. And, and you've, interpreta- Ma- you've interpreted every single Mrs. year Murray. tonight in the sickest Mrs. possible Murray. way. Mrs. Murray, did you take, well, a bachelor- did you take a Bachelor of Arts course in college? I'll tell you what, I graduated from kindergarten. Does that please you? No, but did you? You're very, very interested did in you? how many degrees I got and whether or not you're going to have this no. taste to no, play no, back no, five no, or six no, times no, so no. that you can hear your I'm interested in whether or not I'm you not took... I'm not interested in did that. Did you take a course no, in philosophy? No, I went through kindergarten. Does that help you? Did you take a course in philosophy? Does that help you that I went through kindergarten? Nothing will help me with you right now except huh? the answer to a question. Did you take a course in philosophy? I refuse to answer you. On the grounds it may tend to incriminate no, you. No, I took I exactly. So. I took 20 hours of philosophy. Then you know Nietzsche was an atheist. School. Oh, bull. Ah. You know it. Oh. No, well. no. Better stop now. Let's you take can, another you call. You can make any right. kind of charge that you want to because Nietzsche is not here to defend himself. His Let's take are. another call. Do you know that? I'm trying the to rules finish. Are Martin. Martin. You have a quote. Mrs. Murray. Oh, come on. You must have you, to interpret Must you become so personal? But these are the rules the of St. Martin. No, they're not. I they're, don't know of any I, other Christian who... who, who I'm who trying to... I'm, well, you don't read Christian theology. You don't know anything about it. That's why you don't know these things. I have read... <laughs> you couldn't possibly read the number of books on this that I have read at any time at all. I would hate like to get into the about how much you read. You can't, you can't verify quotes from Funny my account or all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. But I've never asked this question before. Jesus is the Son of God. That's correct. Right? That is what the Bible teaches. Right, fine. All right. By let me take physical yeah. confrontation. Now, let me Mary take... Wait a minute. Come on, will you? Madeline, <laughs> relax a moment. Now, one step by step. Jesus is the Son of God. Mm-hmm. And Jesus was a Jew. Correct. So we must assume that God is a Jew. No. Why not? Because the Scripture tells us that God begot Christ through the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary, and that he chose was the Jewish... Jewish? Yes. He chose the Jewish people as his chosen race to express salvation to the world. Well, now, you, do you mean that he's going to sell them out now? He hasn't sold them out. Well, they, you're telling me they that rejected if, they don't, him. If, they don't, if they don't change... They rejected him. No, no, Jesus I'm sorry. Jesus didn't reject the Jews. I'm the sorry. Jews rejected no. Jesus. That joke with them about their religion at any level, you can't tell. Uh, you can't um, uh, have uh, religious cartoons or religious jokes, everything. It falls flat in their face because these um, people are so Mrs. seriously Murray. intent on their insanity. Mrs. Murray, can I ask you a question? You're interrupting me. <laughs> are you Somebody's finished? on the phone. Are you yes. finished? Well, yes, go ahead. Yeah, May I ask you a question? Please. What is it? No, I wasn't finished, but I lost my train. Hello? May I ask you a question?